Welcome to my quest to put a chicken leg on Venus. You might be wondering, why would I want to put a chicken leg on Venus? I want to voyage to places I cannot go in reality, like Venus and the inside of the Earth and the inside of the Sun. I can't physically go to these places in my lifetime, but maybe we can simulate them. But thinking this through, what would such a simulation look like? Like, we can already view the surface of Venus. We have photos. There's a great video by What If about surviving on Venus for five seconds. But do you really feel the pressure? 90 atmospheres and the temperature 500 celsius there's sulfuric acid dripping on your body no you see a yellow color and you hear words describing the acid and the pressure so i i can't make you experience that like who wants to be in 500 celsius and have sulfuric acid dripping on my on skin but here's my idea i'm going to put a chicken leg in different places and see what happens we can experience venus vicariously through the chicken leg of course we can guess that 90 atmospheres of sulfuric acid at 500 celsius is going to frazzle that chicken leg but will it dissolve will it catch fire will it blacken i could buy a very hot oven fill it with sulfuric acid and find out but i don't have that technology and even if i did i'm not sure my landlord would approve and anyway venus is just an example i also want to go inside the earth that coals and the sun and i i definitely can't experience those in my room simulating a chicken leg in sulfuric acid at 500 celsius and 90 atmospheres sounds tricky like how well i know if my simulation is accurate what i want to do is to start by first simulating deep frying a chicken leg in oil that's something we know what it looks like and we can see for ourselves does the resulting simulation look correct there's a video by chef step about what actually happens when you deep fry chicken it's really hard not to love fried chicken. I mean, it's fried, so that obviously, you know, improves it right off the bat. It turns out that the older oil fries better because it contains emulsifiers, so the oil can get closer to the surface of the chicken. The bubbles of steam coming off the chicken keep the oil away and slow the cooking. There's a balance between the internal temperature and the outer temperature. The interior should cook more slowly at a lower temperature and the outer should be crispy. So in my simulation, I'm going to have to simulate chicken meat, breading, maybe, water vapor, oil, bubbles, browning, a lot of things. In an earlier video, I covered Eulerian simulation. I simulated a single fluid without gravity or viscosity, a reminder that Eulerian simulation is you represent the fluid as a fixed grid of cells and each cell contains the velocity of the fluid at that point. And there's only one fluid that you're representing the velocity of. So what happens if we have multiple fluids? Advection in Eulerian is already pretty approximate. But what about oil and water? As far as I know, particle representations are the way to go here. Like like SPH, smoothed particle hydrodynamics. You simply have particles representing each substance and leave them to move around. SPH sounds like kind of a lot of work. And I, I realized that I can just make physical particles in Unity rather than doing the whole SPH thing. First, I asked in Matthias Muller's Discord server, is this a good idea? So the answer was no, because it'd be like using ball bearings to simulate the fluid and it wouldn't really flow and not really compressible and stuff. Well, it turns out this is kind of true, especially with large particles. But actually, if you use smaller particles, the Unity particles do become bouncy and elastic and they do somewhat approximate a fluid. Still, they get slow pretty quickly. So is there a better way? Matthias Muller, the guy I copied from my last video, talks about flip simulation. Now, flip combines both particle-based and cell-based simulation. It's as fast as Eulerian, but it can handle fluid air mixes. So this is kind of good. Blender provides fluid simulation using flip. Houdini also uses flip. The picture on the left is SPH simulated, and on the right is flip simulated. So the flip looks okay. Now, should I just use Blender? This chocolate in the subway video was made using Blender. It looks awesome. Ryan King Art has a great tutorial. I tried this out. What you're looking at took me 50 minutes. Most of that was figuring out how to move inside Blender. The actual fluid simulation bit is very easy to use. This cube is called the domain. It defines where the simulation will run. This sphere creates fluid. I've set it as an inflow. This trough and bowl I've set as a factor. So that means the fluid treats it as an obstacle and flows over it. By default, Blender renders fluids as particles, but taking this mesh box renders it as a mesh. This is running in real time on my MacBook Air. I have not pre-baked this. Still, I need to be able to handle multiple substances also bubbles temperature can blender handle this googling a bit it looks like the answer is no blender cannot handle interactions between multiple fluids you can't simulate oil and water together there is a video about a blender simulation of water and oil but it's two separate simulations that's awesome that's great news for me because i want to have an excuse to code this up myself and so there's my excuse so I, i'm not like not invented here i'm 
coding it myself because Blender can't handle it. At least until someone points out that actually it can and then I'll have to use Blender, I guess. So as you may have noticed, I'm changing my publication approach in this video. I'm going to aim to release one video a week. I'll probably achieve like one video a month. Whilst I work on my quest to put a chicken leg on Venus, subscribe to be notified when the next one is out.